What's good, gamers? Welcome to Monster Hunter Freedom. Welcome back, I should say. But, <laughs> whatever. Intros are for losers. Welcome back to Monster Hunter Freedom. The last episode was the Grindathon, and if you skipped that, let me get you up to speed. Here's a little annotation somewhere on the screen. Just skip the recap. Uh, as far as items go, uh, I have some flash bombs I'm bringing with me. Uh, Ten potions. I've got a huge surplus of potions built up. Uh, Twenty whetstones, which is really nice. Um... But equipment, that is the big difference now. We have the Bone Javelin Plus, 230 attack, tons of green sharpness. The Protection Piercing. It's a little earring that gives 6 defense and gives a, automatically gives the Auto Guard skill. That means if we are not currently attacking with our weapon drawn, there is a chance we will automatically block an attack that would have hit us. Very nice. We have the Veloci Prey Mail, 8 defense. And that gives us a bunch of skills. I'll go over the skills I have after. 8 defense. We still have the leather van braces. And the Velocipre Tacit. Another 8 defense. We still have the blue pants as well. Um, status wise, we have 26 defense now. Up from, I think, 7. So that's a huge buff. Maybe a little more. I'm not sure. Um, our active skills are Auto Guard and Knockout Negated. What that means is typically if you get hit, I think it's 3 times in a row by a monster, sometimes two if it's a strong enough attack, you will actually get stunned, and you have to rotate the control stick to get unstunned as fast as possible. It usually takes at least three or four seconds of you standing still, and it can mean you're, it can just completely destroy you. This means I cannot be stunned, no matter what. So they cannot put baby in a corner, which is really nice. So, yeah, most of my stats are coming from my torso. Um, I've got torso increase on my waists and my legs. And then my head, like, like you saw, the protection piercing is giving me auto guard. So, with all that said and done, we're ready to move on to the next big monster. Two star quests, the Great Jungle Cutku. We've got just enough money to get it. Slay the Yeon Cutku. I want you to hunt and kill the giant bird-like monster that has appeared in our jungle. It's wreaking havoc on our environment. Let's do it. Here we go, guys. Yeon Kutku time, the second large monster of the game. I really enjoy this guy. I fought him way more times than I'd like to admit. But you end up getting a lot of reasons to grind him, especially if you go for his armor like I did on my other file. What's up, Chiefy? Mortal Kombat, Paintball, Smoke Trap, Smoke Bombs, Bra Meat, Pitfall Trap. Huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so you can you can combine raw meat with other things like stun shrooms and toadstools to make, like, poisonous meat and stuff. That's all really useful. So in here, we have normal old map, whetstone, some healing items, paintballs, and they give you two flash bombs here, which is nice. So I only brought three of my own, so I know I was going to get two, and you can only carry five. Uh, if you want and you have gunpowder, you can turn that large barrel into a barrel bomb. I don't really recommend it, nor see the reason why. So don't bother with that. Also, first time in a new area. Hey! We have been in the forest and hills this whole time, now we're in the jungle, and that's <laughs> from the bottom, from like, the bottom of the map up, it's really beautiful. Those waterfalls, well, the longer you stare at them, the worse they get. Okay, it's not as beautiful as I thought. I like it out way out there, that's all really cool looking. Anyway, did I just see a shadow? I don't know. Let's get going and find this Yeon Kutku. He can't be a big deal, can he? Nah. Alright, that is the Yeon Kutku. He's kind of like the first monster of the game, I'd say. Where'd he go? Hello? Kutku? I hear him. Oh, there he is. Oh, God! Ow! Uh, as you noticed, my hunter got... Ow! Come on! My hunter got scared when the monster noticed him. Like, he kind of hunched over and I couldn't move for a second. That will happen whenever a Wyvern notices you, so don't be like me and be in a stupid spot when that happens. Ah, God. Like I was about to say before he killed me, the young Kuku's kind of like the first real monster of the game, I'd say. He can be really troublesome, especially if you don't know what you're doing. The Velocidrome isn't a real monster. He's an overglorified Velociprey. The young Kuku is the first one that can really take you out fast. 
you're not careful, this thing is going to destroy you. Alright. Bam, bam. Ah! Good thing the Lance can block everything and anything. Ah! That's where he stepped on me. He didn't even, like, hit me with his fireball. He just stepped on me. Oh, God. Dang it. So, that's one thing I need to learn about the Lance is that... Ooh! Oh! Guarding's gonna save my... Okay. Okay, thank God. Run away. Run away. Run away. Yeah. So, the Eon Kaku's got a much more... A much bigger variety of move. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, he missed. Oh, he missed. He's got a much bigger variety of moves than the Velocidrome. Velocidrome basically had bite and jump. This guy has charge, bite, tail spin. Um, yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. And bam, bam. Go back, bam, bam, bam. Oh yeah, just let me, just sit there. Let me poke you in the face over and over and over again. Oh God, and he's got that. A very fast charge that doesn't get telegraphed. Very well, at least. Oh, blocked it. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Jesus! Oh, I ran out of stamina. He wouldn't stop attacking. Okay. Uh. So, yeah. I can only block so much until I run out of stamina. And this guy... He can attack really fast, and he'll hit... Oh, why do I keep taking a potion after he does that? Okay, thank God, he's stupid. Okay. Eh. Oh, come on with the stepping. Okay. One, two... Ah! He's really hard to hit sometimes, especially if you have a slow weapon. Oh! Jeez. He is not doing me any favors here. I'm gonna stick this up your butt, dude. Ow! That tail whip you will- oh god, this is like the worst place I could ever be. I am very scared. I am very scared. I'm running. No! There's nothing I can do! Oh, 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 pop, oh, 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 One thing to note, when the young Kaku spins, he will always spin twice. He will always spin twice. Okay, come on. Okay, I think he'll always shoot fireballs twice. Oh god. Yeah, if the Velocidrome didn't give you a run for your money, this guy's going to. He's a lot easier with a fast weapon like Dual Blaze or a Sword and Shield. But, if you can time your attacks right... What's he gonna do? I'm always scared when he stands still for so long, because I feel like he's gonna just charge. Ow. So the best thing you can try to do is get yourself in a favorable position. So what I haven't been doing is moving while I'm blocking. Okay, here we go, here we go. Bam! 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 And back! Bam! 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 And back! Yes! Keep it up! Keep it up! Keep it going! Oh, no! Okay! When he jumps around like that, look at his mouth! He is now... Uh. Okay, uh, let's get, sneak some attacks in. He is now foaming at the mouth! Not foaming, but his mouth is on fire. He is exhaling fire with every breath. That means he is enraged. He has new attacks, he has faster attacks, and he has stronger attacks. Everything hits harder and hits faster, and he is much more difficult to actually hit. So unless you can safely get a hit on him, I don't recommend going on the offensive. Play defensive, like so, and then do what you can. Wait until he calms down before going on the full offensive. See how much faster he's pecking now? Okay. Careful, that charge is a great chance to get in and hit him a few times. Unless, you know, he steps on you like a dingus. Okay, uh, one, two, three. Back. Okay. Ow. Okay. Oh, that's the auto guard right there. I didn't even block that wind. Uh, if I didn't block that wind, I'd be stunned for slightly longer than a block. Um, and... Okay, he's piecing out. Um, if I didn't guard... I have auto guard... When he flaps his wings and wind goes everywhere, that'll actually cause your hunter to, like, slide backwards and cover his face. And you'll actually be held in place for a second. That's called wind press. There are skills that negate wind press, which is really handy for some monsters. Uh, like the bird wyverns, like Kutku. Um, but if you don't have that, then your character will be stuck in place for a minute. So what I'm gonna do is do this. I really should have sharpened, but I'm gonna go for the... Yeah, there's the auto guard helping there. Typically, okay, there it is. There's, there's the normal wind press. Ah! 
Didn't expect him to go right in. Oh, do you see how his frills are no longer um, standing on edge like they were before? That means he is weak. That means he is... Okay, I didn't, wasn't going to use that anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get wrecked. Mm. Okay, my weapon power's down. I might start bouncing. Oh, down he goes! Okay. Then we get to finish my thought process. Uh, when his frills are down like that, that means he is on his last leg. He doesn't have much left in him. He is very tired and very weak, and he is at, I think, less than 20% health. Stop it. So, that went pretty smoothly. Only had to use two of my own potions after the, uh, I think it was six first aid meds I had. Not bad. We got Kutku, uh, oh yeah, this is the thing that we found the, uh, the scale of in the poop. So, not bad. I should have brought a, uh, um, uh, pickaxe with me. I could have gotten some ore here. But, yeah, that went really well. It didn't even take 10 minutes. If I can get to the beehive over here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There it is. There it is. I can gather a little bit of honey before we go. Got one. This is a great easy place to go for honey. If you're ever in a mission in the jungle, you have no reason not to gather honey at this beehive. It's perfect. Oh, three honey. I'm already... Yeah, three honey. Beautiful. And if we can get one medium monster bone from this, that would be wonderful. Because that means we can upgrade our lance again. And even in that whole fight, we only went down in sharpness at the tail end. Yes! Medium monster bone! And five small monster bones. Great stuff. Got the medium monster bone. Yes! Yes! I'm so happy. Tons of money for that. 1900 zenny. Beautiful. And we still have time for one more quest, so that's awesome. 919 of an undefined measurement. Not bad. I love his little hieroglyph picture there. It's really cool looking. And we unlock training. Uh, I'll get into that later. I'll do them. I'll probably do all of them for the sake of uh, completion. But the training school is a place you can go to do quests with pre-allotted gear. So you will be given a gear set. Instead of bringing your own. And you have to complete it with what they give you. But improved weapon. This. Oh, we don't have enough money. But look at the damage. Okay, yeah. We're selling stuff. We're selling stuff. We need like 400 gold. Zenny. Whatever it is. Words. Pl make it like 500 to uh, 600 to do the next quest. Uh, let's put some stuff away. I might just sell the Kutku stuff I got. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm really excited to get this new staff. This staff. Spear. Spear. Lance. Words. Uh, I could sell the light crystal. Uh, nah, Kutku stuff is easier to get. I'll sell the three Kutku weapons for two grand. Booyah. If you need money, farm the Kutku. He's a little harder than the Velocidrome, but damn, is it worth it. So, weapon craft, improved weapon. Here we go. Spiked spear. 46 more damage. And look at that sharpness. Improve. What's next? The dark lance. We need... That's it? Oh, and stun sacks. Okay. Okay, we can get that at some point. Oh, my. Oh, but it loses all of its green sharpness. Ow. That's really rough. Huh. I don't know. That's something I'll have to look into making. Because. I still need to make the Night Lance at some point. But that's for another day. Let's see if we can accomplish one. Oh, I never went. Yeah, I'm not going to go to the farm during actual episodes. Uh, Alright. What can we do? We have Liver of Legend. Slay the great Kutku. Don't be fooled. Uh, this is harder than the one we just did. I'll go into that next time we do it. That'll be the next big one we fight. Attack of the giant bugs. Slay 30 Vespoid. That's going to take forever. You know what? Let's do this. Crystal hunting. Here we go. I'm not excited. We have to gather one sootstone ore. I should have brought my own pickaxes, but it shouldn't matter because they give you some. This quest sucks. It is very similar to the Wyvern Egg quest. And by that, I mean it's kind of the same thing. It's I. It might be easier than the Wyvern Egg quest. I could be wrong. Maybe it may depend on who you ask, but... See that area 11 down there? That's where we pick up the item and we have to bring it back to base. So... This mission can be really easy. The first time I did it, I had no trouble. Or it can be really obnoxious. The second time I did it, I hated it. 
What's nice is unless something specific happens, which I hope it doesn't, once you reach area two, you're in the clear. Because the Aptonauts, unless you attack them, are not going to bother you. The problem is in area five and ten, where there's Velocipray everywhere. Hooray! And I believe they respawn. I'll kill a couple to check, but I'm pretty sure... You, ow. You, I'm pretty sure you can't get rid of these guys. Come on. Oh my god, I missed the young Kutku. I think it was big enough to hit. Come on. Oh, come on. I'm... I have officially taken more damage from... from oh, thank you, Auto Guard. Where were you before? Alright, put this away so we can position ourselves better. He landed. Bam. Bam. Two hits. One. Two. Uh, I hate my life. I hate... Okay. I love Velocipray. Have I ever said how much I love Velocipray? Because I love Velocipray, man. They're my favorite. They're my favorite. Okay, goodbye. They're all dead. Got my red health back. Uh, they don't seem to be respawning. But they probably will. Get out of here, dude. Alright, they're not here anymore. But 10 bucks says when you leave and come back, they respawn. Let's find out together, shall we? I know the enemies in 10 respawn. I know these enemies respawn. But let me check 5 again. Okay. I'm hoping. Here's hoping. These. New enemies out here. These are Gen Prey. They, uh... They're basically more annoying Velocipray. These guys have a little more health, not much, um, but these guys can paralyze you. If they bite you, you will get paralyzed. And they still have the same jump attack as normal Velocipray, but that doesn't paralyze you. That just knocks you down and it is annoying. <laughs> so let's go ahead and clear these guys out just in case. I, I, I've been wrong before. Maybe it was a different mission where they respawned, but I'm pretty sure it was this one. Oh, that's cool. I leave, like, a little water trail behind. That's awesome. Hey, let's get rid of this guy. Oh, I guess it's not if they bite you. I don't know what they have to do to actually paralyze you. Oh, get wrecked. Okay, so that's the strategy. Okay. Nope. Oh, okay. So the strategy with the lance charge is to hit them multiple times, like, without bouncing off. Like so. And then go for the charge attack. Okay. Gotcha. Anyway, one of them respawns. Not all of them have. Maybe it just takes time. Ow. Can you not do that, please? Would you like this, baby? Okay. There's another one. Maybe if I kill enough, they stop respawning? A man can dream, right? <laughs> A man can dream. Well, that's all of them out here. Ah, oh, okay, that one's back. If only those two respawn, I'll be happy. Okay. Am I cold in here? I am. Let's get hurrying. Because, uh... This is the first instance of an area that has a temperature difference. It's cold in here. So unless you bring the appropriate item or armor, you are going to be... Your maximum stamina bar is going to be dropping rapidly. Alright. Well, we got the Sutstone Ore. This could be a nice, easy quest. I'm praying for that. You never know. You run super slow. Sometimes the game will just hate you for no reason. Little Fango quest. And yeah. Let's find out. It's going to be a nice long trek all the way to home base. But I only have to get through 10 and 5. So you really only have to get through two areas. Alright. And only one of those guys is back. So that's one less Genprey on my ass. So let's just run. Uh, I hate running out. Okay, there's only one guy on each side. That's good. He hasn't even noticed me. Damn it. Okay. He's heading my way. He has not done anything yet. He appears to have noticed me, but doesn't care. Cool. They don't care. Thank you. If you don't care, I don't care. Peace be with you, Genprey. I hold no grudges anymore. Thank you. Oh, my stamina went down. I can't sprint as long. Yeah, please. Oh god, Genpray! Oh my god, why are you here? No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, you missed. 
Okay, there's Genprey. Oh, okay, so this place spawns Genprey when you pick this up, I guess. Because there were not Genprey in here before. You saw it. Oh, man, this guy wants me bad. Leave me alone. You got a Serpentine. If you're going to make it. Oh, God, you got a Serpentine. No, no, no. Why are you here? Why are you here? No. Oh, oh, no. That's the Gendrome. That is the Velocidrome version of the Genprey. Please, please leave me be. Please, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Zone transfer. No. That's the Gendrome. He's here to make your life miserable. And for no other reason. You know what? Fuck you. This isn't even a quest to kill you. Fuck you. I don't like you. Ow. Ow. Come on. You know what? Yeah. Let's do this. Come on. Bring it. No one even likes you. No one likes you. Go away. Get out of here. You shouldn't even be in this quest. I hate you. I was almost in the clear, and you ruined it for me. Get out, get out. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You don't get to live. Get out of my life. Damn it, damn it, stop. All right, come on, come on, come on, you sucker. Come on. Mm. Oh, I can't believe that missed. Ah, he got stunned by his own guy. Sucks, don't it? Sucks, don't it? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah! Suck it! Ah. Oh, come on. Come on, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he ran away like a little pussy. Is that it? Is that how it's gonna be? Get the fuck back here! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You don't just get to walk away. You ruined this quest for me. Stop. Where are you going? Is he going to my base? <laughs> what? Get out of here. Seriously, you're not necessary here. You deserve nothing but death. Go die. Go die. Go die. Go die. <sighs> that was really easy. <laughs> Yeah, Gendromes are not much harder than Velocidrome. They have a little more health, and they can also paralyze you. But besides that, there's no difference. <sighs> so, yeah. He's the thing. He'll show up in this mission for no other reason than to make your life harder. And, yeah. That's it. He's just there to make your life miserable. Uh, what will often happen is you will finish delivering the ore through 10 and 5 and usually after that you're fine but sometimes he will be in area 2 he was in area 9 which was perfect but he just decided or no no he did he was in area 2 but I came as I was approaching it he spawned in and now these guys won't stop spawning what's really bad about him is because he is a drone he brings groups of little versions. So, like, the Velocidrome is followed by a pack of Velociprey. The Gendrome is followed by a pack of Gen uh, Genprey. So, where there is one, there is many, unfortunately. And there's no way around that. These two don't seem to be a problem. They are going to leave me be and not be dinguses. Oh, God. Alternatively, you can go through 10, 6, and 3, but I don't recommend that. There's tons of bugs in 6, and those are going to really easily sting you and knock the sootstone out of your hand and then area three is just filled with velocipray let's eat this max out our stamina okay and here we go what thing okay it broke my pickaxe which is not good I, I, because i didn't bring my own pickaxes that means we only have a, cer a set number of times we can do this with the gendrome gone most of the genprey gone if I fail this, I'm just going to be mad at myself. Not even at the game. Okay. Man, there's a lot of, like, dick move quests early on in this game. 
Like, I'd rather be fighting giant monsters, but no! You gotta carry this fragile ore with your hands past a bunch of willoughby wallabies. I think there is, like I said, there's a, uh, I think there's a skill that makes it so either you run faster while you're carrying an item or small monsters make it, don't make you drop it or something like that. But either way, these quests are always miserable just because of how slow you move with it in your hands. It's horrible. I'd rather fight three Kutkus at once than do this. Actually, that'd be kind of fun. Three Kutkus at once? Damn, that'd be hectic. All right. Oh God, why are you right near the entrance? Why? Whose idea was this? Whose idea was this? Hey, Bobby, play that one about falling down the stairs. Uh -huh. Stop it. Leave me alone. These guys suck. They just follow you and jump at you and nibble on you and I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Just keep up the serpentine. Keep up the serpentine. Yeah, I almost walked into him. Okay, go. Oh no 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 I'm not gonna go near the Aptanoff because I'm gonna play this safely. But yeah, I think we're safe. The Aptanoth are loving creatures. The Gendrome is dead. We will approach the deposit box and put it down. Thank the Lord. Unless I accidentally hit the dodge button, there is no way I can fail this quest. And here we go. Oh, thank the Lord. I, I deserve a nap. I deserve a nap and another Tic Tac. Oh my god. Oh, oh I got two Tic Tacs. I don't even care. Mm. Oh god. I hate that quest. <laughs> But it's done. To my knowledge, there's no others. Quest cleared. Now the upside of this quest, check out the rewards. Eight iron ore. Eight. That's incredible. And 3,400 zenny. So it's really worth doing but it's also not at all. <laughs> Fuck that quest. Oh, if it weren't such a big hassle, it wouldn't be that bad. And I've gotten like 10 iron, four earth crystals from that before. But oh my God. New person, I'll talk to you later. That's it for this episode of Monster Hunter Freedom. In the next part... Oh, hey, we can make the Longhorn soon. Oh. In the next part, we're gonna do the last few two-star quests. I need to go sleep off all this energy. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Later!